the Twilight litter. They are like nine weeks old. They're getting spayed here and neutered in like two days. Anyhow, then they'll be available for adoption. We are doing a whole round of play because they are just full of energy and ready to, well, they're ready to go to new homes. <laughs> Six of them are kind of crazy. Um, we've got some definite, definite like natural born leaders here in the hunting world and some that are just a little cautious about all these toys and not sure. There you go. Here's Rosalie. She is, man, she is a great hunter. She'd be a very good mouser, by the way. So if you got a mouse problem, there you go. That's the one to pick. Uh, Eddie here, cutie patootie. He's the long-haired one. He's going to need somebody who understands grooming and, um, or at least is willing to take direction. And I'll teach you all about it. But he's a long-haired kitty who's going to need brushed out. Um, but he is so cute. Look at you. Look at you. So that's, um, Edward. We call him Eddie. Little Bella here in the middle, ready to pounce. Man, she is going at that little wand. Jacob, he's very playful, very cuddly, very purry. He loves to purr. Esme's off hiding. She's kind of the shy one out of the bunch. Um, she does warm up. She just probably would be best to go with another kitten if I if I had my preference instead of a solo kitten. I would I would really like if Esme and um, Rosalie go together. I think they would make a great little duo of trouble. Take <laughs> um, up. Take up. Come here, buddy. And then there's mom, of course. Sweet pea over here. Hi, hi, sweetie. Here, here. Sorry, I didn't mean to go the past. Here. Here. She loves her head rubs. She doesn't like quick movements. But she loves head rubs and little booty lifts. Yeah, you sweet girl. You know, they said she was feral at first, but really she just needed some food and a little bit of love and attention. She really is a great mama kitty. I would definitely recommend a house uh, maybe without children that are young or maybe uh, older children or no children. Somebody who's willing to just be okay with the fact that she doesn't like quick movements. Little kids tend to have quick movements. Not that she hisses or has any bad behavior towards kids, but she is. She doesn't like to play with traditional toys. She'd rather play with your hand. That could be misinterpreted by a kid. You know, we don't want to set you guys up for failure. So she would be a great adoption for maybe a house with other cats or uh, no kids or older kids who kind of understand and know boundaries really well and also don't do quick movements. Um, I think I've colored Alice and Bella are kind of, you know, right in the neutral. They love to play. They love to hide. They love to eat. They, they kind of hit every mark of the book there. So they're pretty average little kittens. <laughs> oh, man. They're too much fun. And this toy was the best investment. Edward and Jacob are both in love with it. Okay. I'll sign off because this video is getting longer. But that's the little uh, updates on personalities and, and what kind of fit I, I think each one should, should have. But if you have any questions or you're interested in the Twilight Litter, let me know. Um, they are through the Boone Animal Humane Society. And they will be up for adoption as soon as they get paid. Yeah, that's just a Tuesday. That's like two days away. Well, really, Sunday's almost over, so that's one day. Hi. Daddy. We're still getting used to hands. Daddy. Some of them are a little skittish of the hands. They much prefer toys. Mama loves catnip, too. She's a catnip fan. Hi. Edward. Oh, he's so full of energy. <laughs> Alright, signing out, guys.